Well, it is hard to believe that it's the middle of March already. Where has the time gone? Newfoundland has to be one of the most majestic places I've ever been. So much land with so few people. But don't let your guard down for one second because she can be relentless. From sinkholes to bottomless bog holes, when you venture into the woods here, you best be on your guard. And you should never travel alone. It was a beautiful, peaceful morning for a skidoo ride in the hills. And in seeing this little fella, it was a great way to start off my day. How happy am I with this new sled? I'm riding on a trail that I broke yesterday. After I made three passes over it, a 8,000 crossfire come up behind me and got stuck right in my tracks. This thing is absolutely amazing. I love, I love riding this little sled. So good on gas, so good in the trees, so much fun to operate. Seen a lot more wildlife since I've been riding it. I'm loving everything about the sled. Up here on a granny. Here the skidoo is coming up through the Colorful Valley. And the Cold Brook is down in this Blanche Brook, is what it's called, Cold Brook Blanche Brook. It's down in this valley. Then it tapers off and goes up through, through that uh, ravine up there. It goes up through the ravine just to the right or south of the big level up there and uh, I was just up there to the headwaters of it and pulled the sled out so you're gonna see that video shortly beautiful beautiful day time for some pictures I'm going that way when I reached the southeast side of the big lookout, the sky had grayed and the snow had lost all of its definition to the point where I could no longer see the drifts and holes. So I decided to turn off my skidoo and have a look around. That is when I thought I heard the rip of a sled in the ravine below. So I listened carefully for several minutes because if it was coming from the ravine below that I had talked about in my last video, I knew someone could be in trouble. I stopped and turned just in time to see this moose come out of the ravine, which had me thinking, did I hear a sled down there earlier? What drove this moose? So I decided to continue my climb to the summit of the big lookout. But as you can see, all the snow here has been windswept. As I was climbing through the rocky outcrop, I spotted two sleds come out of the ravine below. Then I spotted a third fellow walk out to the edge of it. A few arm waves back and forth and I knew the summit would have to wait for another day. One last pan with the camera, so close but yet so far. Alex is a very lucky young man. By jumping, he ended up on top of his sled instead of being underneath it. But this is how fast something could go wrong here on this wild island paradise. Okay, so I was just up here on top of the big lookout and uh, I seen a couple of fellers on sled and it turned out is Alex Young? Yeah. And who? Bradley Dodge. Bradley Dodge? And who's that other fella? Mike Lavalley. Mike Lavalley. 
Mike went and got a few more fellers to come give us a hand because you can see down there, I don't want to get too close because I'll end up down there with the skidoo. The skidoo is down in this hole. This is a ravine here. But we got eight fellers in here now. So, oh, nine, perfect. Francis! Hey. hey! Hey, what are you doing, brother? We're we'll doing the headwaters of Cold Brook. <laughs> They're swimming. Yeah. <laughs> Caught a horse oh. over there one time, right there on the other side of that. Oh, we can spot, eh? I was just up on top. Where's the four here? Hey? I'm gonna get four balls. Up here? How'd you get it over there? What? Oh. How's the retirement, Bobby? Good, yours? <laughs> good, buddy, good. Nothing. Yeah, I, 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 I was up on a solo ride. I was up on top of the uh, the big lookout, and I, I seen these guys. You see the situation? Oh, come take a look. Anybody got any rope? Anybody got any rope? That's all, Ace Bobby. You go right down. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got a shovel too. You can take a big rope and I can take it away. I can see what the trap tank out there. Yeah, I think I'm not one So where are you guys heading to? <laughs> we're going up to we're, we're going up those hills, but not very clear up there. No, yeah, it's not clear at all. And we're just gonna set in probably just stay over this way. Yeah, I just seen a moose. What's the name of this spot, Francis? This here, I guess they call this levels. It's the headwaters of Cold Brook here up here in the bog up here, see? And this Cold Brook here goes on down and starts here, right? Yeah. But I don't know, boy, because when, when they used to come up years ago, they used to come up across from the, you know, from, to, yeah, to, uh, oh, by the little look, yard, yeah. look up. And then they come up on the levels, and then they used to stay on the levels to go over the country, right? Yeah. So yeah. I only knew it as the big well, levels. And then we used to come up this way through uh, the old trail here. Yes. Across uh, the Plenish Knee there. Come across Plenish Knee, yeah. up uh, across Northeast Levels, and then yep. come up this come through. Come up through here, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're going down. Time. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my good lord. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta come down and see this with the camera. Oh, fuck. Okay, it's not that heavy. <laughs> no, they're fucking heavy enough. Smile. And them straps. <laughs> Look up and smile. Look the straps. You took them up from me. Hey, you the blue, the one spider strap. Those? You took them from me. You were talking to Charlie. Where'd you put them? I thought I thought some of them. Alright, go up and check these. Go up and get them. Yeah. I'll go up and get them. I'll talk to you for years here. On the count of three. One, two, three, go! Go! Hey, hold it. A little more on this side. Go on, hold on. One, two, three, go, Bobby! Again. Okay, we're going to knock some of that snow down there with the shovel. Oh, the water's ripping down. Just past the shovel. I think we can knock some of this down. Yeah. You want these gloves? You want them? Francis. No, I'm good. I'm good. I probably got no heads because, you know, I can't see nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it down. If you get it loose, you'll fall right in the hole. So, I know. <laughs> we all might. <laughs> Time to speed up the process here. We were trying to greatly reduce the angle of the slope in which we would have to pull up the sled. Get her to tip. One, two, three. Yeah, we got her. Yeah. 
Now we grab the skis and pull up. We're gonna shorten our lines. Or... Dude, that's Tundra. I drive out now. One, two, oh. three. Oh, it's like a suction cup. One, two, three. Oh, I don't know. Hold on, huh? That track is so full of snow and slush, it makes the sled far more heavier than what it really is. But with a little bit more work and a lot more pulling, we're going to get this machine out. That's all you're going to do. Get her back to the other end a bit so we can shovel this. Bobby, you're, you're an old man. You're and he's dying over there. Get that on video, would you? Blue man. Oh, oh solid week in the house. That's his old age. Yeah, it is. We make a roll like this. You old, Francis? I was in the hospital twice, hooked up intravenous. Three times. Three times. Three times. Oh, but you. See, I told you he was getting old. That's dementia kicking in there too. He can have his own injury here. You don't know. Oh, fuck. That's in the stuff. That's what's going on, eh? Yeah, we can't get it. Uh... Me, Bobby, and Francis went to school together and graduated together. And Francis was one of the guys with me when I talked in that last video about the feller who went in the hole, was standing on his canoe, and we couldn't even see his hands over his head. Francis was one of the guys with me uh, to help pull that guy out. This is not our first time getting into jams and getting sleds out, and it definitely won't be our last. But uh, young Alex here was very lucky to escape uh, with his life by landing on top of the sled instead of under it. He lives the skidoo another day. I'm giving you that one. Okay, Charlie's right, gonna do the me. count there. <laughs> one, one, two, three. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Hold. One. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> one more. One more. One. Two, three, let's go, boys! Yeah! Oh, thank God. What are you doing? Are you from here? Yeah. Okay. A good adventure. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. I don't know what I got, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll find out now, eh? Hopefully. Lucky you didn't end up under the machine. Oh, yeah, she's floating. She's floating. Oh, it's better than not there. You'll learn to put that stuff in a waterproof bag. Is this supposed to be a waterproof bag? No, no, I mean an individual waterproof bag. Holy shit. Charlie, sure, you're up all alone, or what? Yeah. Okay. What did you see? What did you see up there? See any sign of a see any moves back there? Back here, yeah. Yeah, boys drove it out. All, all alone? Yeah. yeah. One moose. Yeah, there should be another one. You got her out. I got shot here. Oh, he got shot one I'll tell you one thing, don't shoot a moose right here. <laughs> Try the fan or right here. Yeah. Some moose on the other side, fuck that. We come up here with a quad, couldn't get it. Snow came down, we couldn't get up here with a scooter, there wasn't enough snow in between. And then when we walked over to the big valley, which right wherever the deepest part is, too, here or just over here? That's where we come up. And that's where the moose was, right on the other side of that on the hill. I halved it with a fox. <laughs> we shared it. There was yeah, some I fox sign there. Oh, jeez. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and share so others can find my channel. It has no sled though. Uh huh? There's no sled right down there. And Keenan was with us this morning, but uh, across the brook off Ashley Boy Road there.